spiders with wings? Arachnophobia is one of the most common fears. However, what would you think if we told you that they can also fly? Jump in and find out if these animals can actually rise into the skies and, most definitely, create more arachnophobes around the world. Internet Myth or Hidden Reality Thinking about flying spiders can give anyone nightmares. And the truth is that very few people like thinking of an eight-legged animal flying above their heads. However, in 2012, a newspaper article went viral, confirming that scientists had come across a giant new species of spiders who are equipped with wings, a fact that caused terror and mystery to the whole idea of spiders. And just to add a bit more of horrid thrill to it, an event in the late 19th century made everyone's blood run cold, having 100-year-old reports that indicate that several people were affected by the bite of an unknown creature, which some specialists and entomologists described as flying arachnids. Obviously, cases like these are rare today, which brings up the question, did they always exist or are they a new species? And the answer, while it is not definite, it amazes everyone. And truth be told, we can neither confirm nor deny if there were winged arachnids in that time, so fear. Spider Rain To date, one of the most notorious cases happened in Australia. In 2015, hundreds of spiders came down from the sky along with their webs. This was such a big phenomenon that everything was covered with so many cobwebs that in the distance, it could easily be mistaken for snow. Even if this may be the largest flying spiders demonstration to date, the creatures that fell from the sky didn't have wings. In fact, they were tiny little spiders, which led to even more questions. Why do spiders fall from the sky? Is this a God-sent punishment? Are we getting ourselves a step closer to the end of the world? Why are we asking so many questions? Despite how weird this news is and how totally terrifying it may be to see bugs fall from the sky, this spider rain is not uncommon for Australians since they even have a name for this strange event, angel hair, due to the trail left by their webs. But indeed, we would understand if you want an answer so you can buy enough food and prepare for the apocalypse. Well, to be honest, such a thing as winged spiders does not exist, so stay calm and look at the sky without a care. You can rest assured that the viral photo from 2012 is nothing more than a retouched image of a common spider with added wings. Duh! But wait, it's not yet the time to put your umbrellas away. Although winged spiders aren't real, a question still remains, how do they fall from the sky? Life is stranger than fiction. As we said before, this phenomenon that is known as spider rain or angel hair is 100% true. Remember when we told you to fear? Well, we meant it. There are certain spider species that use their webs as a parachute to be carried into strong winds. This behavior may be due to different reasons. Perhaps they are looking for food, trying to find a mate, or just as a means of transportation. The distance they can travel is so impressive that even sailors have reported cases of spiders landing on their ships more than 990 miles away from the shore. On the other hand, after the Krakatoa volcanic eruption at the end of the 19th century, it was believed that nothing in the surroundings could have survived. Yet months after this catastrophe, one spider was found during a visit, which is reason enough to believe their survival is attributed to them being able to navigate the sky. Despite their extraordinary ability, these spiders can't predict where they are going, so they can potentially land anywhere, hostile environments, or even be eaten as prey to a bird. So if a spider falls on your head, it isn't their fault, but if you have to look for someone to blame, it would have to be the wind. Uncovering the Mystery Summarizing flying spiders surfing through the skies is completely real, and the name ballooning has even been given to their activities, since they use their webs as balloons or parachutes. Several specialists indicate that this happens mainly when the babies leave their homes. 
Don't get comfortable yet, since these young and independent spiders can sting if they feel threatened. On the other hand, there's a genus of spiders called Selenops that inhabit mostly tropical areas. They're able to plane and even direct their fall, an ability they use mostly to jump from one tree to another. Based on all this, the only lesson we learn is that however absurd news there is on the internet sometimes, there is also a good opportunity to learn something new. Amazing us more every day, nature teaches us that it doesn't matter how scared you are of a particular animal, it can always get worse. If from now on you won't be leaving your home because you're too scared that these animals will fall on your head, make sure to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell for more content just like this. That was all for today, until next time!